Overnight, an Alabama man was executed after the Supreme Court refused a last-minute stay to review the case. 43-year-old Nathaniel Woods was convicted and sentenced to death for his role in the 2004 shooting deaths of three police officers. A second man involved in the shooting, also on death row, confessed to being the lone shooter. Family members and criminal justice activists rallied on Woods' behalf, but after a number of last-minute appeals, Alabama's governor denied a request for clemency. Joining me now, criminal justice reform warrior, Alice Marie Johnson. She was sentenced to life in prison for a nonviolent drug trafficking in 1996 before having her sentence commuted by President Trump. She's also the author of the new book, Afterlife, and I'm proud to say my dear friend. Alice, since you were released, you have made this your mission to fight for others and their cases. How do you feel about Nathaniel Woods? It breaks my heart. When I heard the news that he had been executed, I prayed for the family, for all of those who've been advocating for him, because I know this is, you can't, this is so final. For me, I was sentenced to a life plus 25 year sentence. And my family was told that the only way I'd return to them was when I passed away. So this is final and it, I'm so hurt over it. The Alabama governor said under Alabama law, someone who helps kill a police officer is just as guilty as the person who directly commits the crime. What's your reaction? He wasn't the shooter. And one of the things that I'm really fighting for is sentencing reforms. This has to change. The shooter is still alive and it's part of this whole conspiracy thing. So I'm, I'm hoping that this will shed even more of a broader light on the Nathaniels. And I'm fighting so that there won't be other new Nathaniels in the future. On Wednesday, you visited the White House. You have a very good relationship with President Trump. Did you ask him for help, help with Nathaniel? I didn't bring him up. I went there for a specific purpose with the women who were released on clemency. Let's talk about that, women. During your visit to the White House, you had three women with you. Yes. Those women served with you. Yes. You have spent the last year and a half fighting for them to be released, and now they are. Tell me about it. That was a culmination of a dream. But there are other women who I'm also fighting for and men. And to be there with them as a free woman. This was our first time being reunited, except we, we did time together. They were family to me. And to hug them and to be there to see that this was not in vain, Stephanie, was just a dream come true for So me. hold on. The last time you and these three women were together, you were in prison. I was and in prison. And on Wednesday, the four of you were together at the White House? Yes. How did that feel? I felt joy, seeing the joy in their faces. It felt, well, I, I met with them the night before as they came into the city. But to be there in the White House, it was surreal because they'd seen pictures of me at the White House. And now we were there together celebrating them because so much had been talked about the other pardons and clemencies. And these women were kind of being forgotten. And we forgot these are mothers. These were mothers who were being re re reunited with their children. Well, they're not forgotten anymore. They've no. got a guardian angel. Yes. And it's you, Alice. Alice, oh, it is always you. a pleasure to see you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.